like in the most polite way possible. F off. So you, you can't make a point without profanity? Would you please stop harassing me? I know you like to make points with violence, but I'm right here. Hey, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Can we please get, stop? Get, do you want to be charged? I'm do not be doing charged? anything. Well, we're back at Toronto Old City Hall to cover the latest in the pretrial hearings of Jordan Hunt. Now, in case Jordan Hunt doesn't ring a bell, folks, that's the uh, individual who likes to go around to women at anti-abortion rallies, and he either kicks them or he pushes them, allegedly, into a live lane of traffic. And uh, if you need a reminder, well, uh, here's the highlight reel. Actually, it's a low light reel of Jordan Hunt in action. It's against the law. Somebody gets raped by somebody and they're like, I, I'm a 16 year old and I can't have this baby. Think you should keep it? It's a baby. Yeah. If someone was raped and she gave birth and she decided to kill her three year old child. Oh, I meant to get your phone. You can't harm somebody else. You can yeah, get guys, physical. Can you can people. you can disagree with somebody's walk message. If you go into the world and harass people, then you get harassed Excuse back. I got it. Women talked about tried women's rights. Tried to take rights. that away from you. Tried to take all your pamphlets away from you. Arguably, that is wrong. Yeah, I try to knock your stupid billboard on the side. Okay. So if you don't want me to f with your stuff, why are you tell deciding to f with other people's choices? Now the thing is, there is, believe it or not, a publication ban regarding everything that is said in the courtroom about uh, Jordan Hunt's trial. However, a publication ban doesn't preclude us from asking Mr. Hunt questions once he gets outside in public. And that's what we're gonna be waiting for. And another thing I really wanna find out if he's showing any contrition, if he has any empathy for his victims, and if he's gonna actually man up and deliver an apology to the woman he kicked Marie Claire Bissonette. So let's see what happens when Jordan Hunt comes out of this courtroom. Jordan Hunt, do you have any words to say to Marie Claire Bissonette? Hold still. Well, not quite a roundhouse kick, but um, what kind of a assault was that? It looked like circus clown confetti. Jordan, who's paying your legal bills? Jordan, it doesn't seem that you're very tough. When a man is asking you questions, you like to ambush You're woman. Man, this is what those look like? By the way, how come your hair isn't purple and you don't have a flower anymore there? How come you have to use cameras like these to record? How come you, did the budget end at like the cheap suit? Is well, it? Well, yeah, it's cheap. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, you're very touchy-feely, but um, why is it that you like to assault women so much? You have no... You know, contrition. You have no empathy, it seems. Really want to take your glasses. I miss them. Oh, do you? Do you really want to assault me? Just like mine. You know? I, I like them. You know, Jordan, there are many viewers on our website that would like to challenge you to a boxing match. Would you like eight to take them? them up? Eight of them? Oh, wait. 1.2 million, actually, but... Jordan, what do you think of your new nickname? Cuck Norris. It's actually Stiffy. My nickname has always been Stiffy. Stiffy. It's never been whatever that. I find that hard to believe. A lot of people refer to you as Cuck Norris. A lot of people refer to you as a Nazi. Oh, a Nazi. That's very, that's very interesting. My grandfather fought the Nazis for five years in the Second World War. By the way, speaking of family, what does your family think of you kicking women and pushing women into traffic? Do you have any family or have they disowned you? I could ask you the same question. You could. Do you realize you're harassing me? I am. I'm just asking questions. As long as you just admitted and you know that you are harassing me. I I, I'm just. You're asking me, you said I am? I'm just asking questions. Yeah, but too bad you're not a reporter. You, you threw some sort of confetti in my face and then started confetti touching my soot. Like a smoke bomb, smoke screen. Have you ever used a smoke bomb on a defenseless, defenseless woman? <laughs> <laughs> smoke bomb on a defenseless woman. Right. You, you have no contrition, do you? You have 
no sense of empathy. You will not apo apologize to these women, will you, for these heinous sneak attacks? You're, you're, you're not a real reporter. You're just harassing me. You're well, if I'm not real, I guess you can just pretend I'm your shadow and you can say whatever you want then. You're a, you're a harassing, fake reporter. Oh, I see. So you're concerned about me harassing you, but you kicked a woman no, you. and you threw a woman into a live lane of traffic. Oh, on film. You can edit things on... Look at Avatar. Do you think Avatar happened? Do you think that people went to another planet and people are actually blue? Because it happened on film. Yes, no. folks, we have a CGI budget. We're making Avatar here. I'm just saying, fool. Like... No, don't you have any words of apology for what you did? You, we saw you on camera when you did that little whiny, I meant to kick your camera. Wasn't that you talking? Jordan, wasn't that you saying that? Ma'am, I don't have time for you. Oh, we got plenty of time. I don't. Well, we're happy to walk with you since we're not real, but I just want to see if you have... Can you man up and apologize to Marie Claire Bissonnette? If she wants to sit down with me and have that conversation, she can. She has a CQ out. Why don't you seek her out? You know where she works. No, I don't. Oh, you don't? You might be the only one. Did you or did you not kick Marie Claire Bissonnette? I'm trying to walk away. And why did you kick her? I'm trying to walk away. Yeah. You are a weird f***ing person. You know what? It's, <laughs> you calling me a weird effing person? Uh, I, I think we found the first example so far today of the, the pot calling the kettle black. I always try to walk away first, and I'm trying that now. It's but you didn't walk away at the abortion protest, did you? No, somebody ran up behind me and started in on me, so yeah. So somebody ran up behind you? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? It's on the video. It, it is on the video. Yeah, so you can tell. You did a, a roundhouse kick right into the torso of a woman, and then you claim, a speculation, then you claim you meant to hit her camera. Is that true? Like I said, I'm not having this discussion with you. You know, I'm having deja vu. There's a federal leader who calls himself a feminist who also has trouble with strong women. I wonder who that would be. Aren't you a politician? You're so likable. Oh, would you vote for me? <laughs> a maniacal laugh. I'll take that as a yes. I'm saying you need to f straight off, like in the most polite way possible. F off. So you you can't make a point without profanity. Would you please stop harassing? Me? I know you like to make points with violence, but I'm right here. Hey, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Can we please get, stop? Get, do you want to be charged? I'm do not be doing charged? anything. This, we'll you you are. Let, let go, go of the, of the camera. camera. I'm not doing anything Let wrong. go of the camera. Let, let go, go of the, of the camera. Let go of the camera. I don't want to be filmed. Huh? Doesn't matter, you're in a public space. Doesn't yeah. matter. Well, anyways, there goes Jordan Hunt. I don't think there's any more point in um, talking to him. <laughs> when are you going to get back to me with this... Uh, with this match, was it boxing or wrestling, fencing? I, I think is it, he's either uh, saying I'm number one or, uh, or uh, give me the finger. I think I'm going to go for the latter. Anyways, well, folks, that's um, once again Jordan Hunt. We tried to get him on camera to at least offer an apology for the heinous things he has done. And, uh, but as you saw, there's no contrition. There is absolutely no empathy for his victims, but he's back in court uh, April 24th, 9 a.m., courtroom 111, if anyone's in the Toronto area and wants to take in the latest appearance of Jordan Hunt. And uh, we'll be there, and we'll see what happens that day. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey, folks, the Rebel has a new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.